It was my senior year of high school and I was taking on a lot between my classes, work, and dance. I was working on a farm when my back started hurting and I wasn't thinking much of it and I would just take an Advil to deal with the pain. Once the pain got to a point of being unbearable, I was admitted to Bridgeport Hospital and long story short, they sent me home with something to deal with the pain and referred me to Yale New Haven Hospital for further diagnosing. After doing a CAT scan, they came back with my results and the doctor sat down with me and my family and said, it looks like you have some sort of lymphoma. It's something that you have to adjust to little by little and just get used to living with and it takes a long time to accept, but it's, it's a hard thing for everyone to go through. After I was diagnosed, they sent me to an outpatient clinic in Guilford where you're set up with a doctor, a nurse, and a social worker. When I got asked to speak for the Tommy Fund, I was more than honored to do so. Um, I think it was through the referral I had made to the Tommy Fund, if I'm not mistaken, and it was a natural fit at that point. Because Jess had evolved to the point where she was willing to share her story, and that was real important. Speaking at the event helped me as a leader, I think, in the way that it just showed me that it was okay to open up to people who didn't really know what you were going through. It was better for them to hear it from you than to kind of assume that, you know, you were always sick or you were always tired. And it was kind of my way of saying, you know, you think you know what it's like to have cancer, but until you experience, you don't. So when it, it was, it just made me more able to kind of share my story, get it out there, be willing to help people who have gone through the same thing. And it just led me to wanting to, it just led me to want to share and help people as much as I could with what happened to me. It didn't have to be a bad thing, it could be a positive. When I came to Southern, I got dragged to CAC, to say the least, by my boyfriend. And he said, you know, I go, to two, I go to church with these two girls and they have this club and the girls, the president, you should really check it out. It's called Colleges Against Cancer. I think it's something you should really get involved with. So when I went to the first meeting, I kind of saw that, you know, there were other people here that were like me. There were other survivors, there were people who had been affected indirectly by cancer, and there were people here who just wanted to support the cause. Me joining CAC and becoming president was just kind of like the icing on the cake with my diagnosis. If I had never been diagnosed with cancer, I would never have gotten, you know, the experience of being in a leadership position where I can, I know I can do something bigger and better than myself.